stuff for that too. Um, I agree with pain. I think um, everybody, if you are actively trying to sell beats online in any capacity, you should be giving some form of free download, pref preferably tagged because a, if you post to YouTube, your stuff's getting ripped. If you post to SoundCloud, your stuff's getting ripped. If you post to Instagram, your stuff's getting ripped. You post to Facebook, your stuff's getting ripped. None of these platforms can protect your tagged versions and make sure you're only uploading tagged versions to any other platform, of course. They can't prevent it, man. It's inevitable. It's literally impossible. So um, if, if they're just going to do it anyway, why not give them the option to get it from you directly and then you can really have that customer data that's where you're losing out that's where people i think are like i'll never give a beat away for free or losing out because it, it, the only solution literally take everything offline go sell beats door to door because i'm telling you as soon as you put anything online it's going to get ripped one way or the other um in some capacity it's just it's just the way of the world man it's the internet <laughs> so um just do it in my opinion man i just i think it's i think it's an easy decision yeah, yeah. And it's funny, too, because there's so much fear associated with putting your beats online because you yeah. want you don't want your beats stolen. There are so many producers that would just never upload a single beat because they're afraid of that. They don't understand that they can actually to a to a pretty high degree control the the the, the theft almost mm -hmm. and benefit from it. And even say, you know, like you said. I'm collecting all of these data off of the people that at this moment don't want to spend money on my beats. Mm -hmm. Maybe they will next month. Maybe they will next year. But it's the long game. And you can stay in constant communication with those people and build relationships. That's, that's the thing. If you're not in this to build relationships and you're just in it to, to have these quick transactional sales, mm -hmm. it's going to be a really, really, really rough road for you because it's just it's not how that works. And so I... I second everything Mike said. I'm I'm a living testament to that. It, it for me, it's worked really well. For other people, it's worked really well as well. So just try to one minimize your risk, two accept that beats are going to get ripped, and just learn how to file DMCA's. Learn how to reach out to people professionally and say, "Hey, you infringed my copyright. Let's mm -hmm. work this out." All you have to do is get a license. We'll be all mm -hmm. good. And then also learn how to control that risk by just giving the, the tag downloads away, your name's in the beat, you get the email address, you're in contact with these people, and you can, you can remarket to them.